viewers, I am sure you have seen the first video of Mr. Hanuman's already. Today, I am back with the second part of his interview. Today, he will explain how GBP helped him to understand about himself and his family members. As a result of this, the harmony among the family members has increased to many folds. He has also explained how the report matches with his life or with the achievements in his life and also helped his career. Again, over to you Mr. Harman. Thank you. My wife is an amazing right brainer who can uh, very easily and in a very, you know, she can disarm the parent on the other side who is panicked because of the results of a child. Give the confidence to the parent and bring the child into Abhyasa and work wonders with the child. She is amazing with people. She is amazing with people. That's, that's what is complementing between the two of us. She is good with people and I'm good with uh, the left brain and she's the right brain. My son is the right brain. My daughter is the right brain. Now the, the beauty of it is the, the way it has helped in my family. My wife is a right brainer with an X in the frontal lobe. So there is not thing, uh, it's not very easy to make her switch from one method to the other method. It's, it's really different, difficult. Since two years, I've been talking to her about going online. You know, making uh, digital learning is going to be the next in thing and it's going to be interact, interactive learning. And I've been asking her to switch over and she said, no, my method is the best. But she has the ability to switch over very immediately only if the X comes into picture. When I tell that, the X blocks it. Now, because of COVID, she wanted an alternative and she saw digital uh, teaching as a boon. And believe me, she has learned so much about uh, uh, teaching online. And that's, that's, that's because she has the adaptiveness very high. Yeah. So that's only if she chooses to. My daughter has an X in the prefrontal lobe. The moment you start suggesting her something, she become defensive. No, it was not like that. I did this because of such, a, such and such a reason. She'll become defensive. My wife is very simple. She has got an X in the frontal lobe. And second thing, me being the husband, when I suggest something, she'll point out all my mistakes so that I don't talk about it anymore. That's Wives are generally very good at that. My son is again 50% cognitive, 50% uh, effective. My daughter is 50% cognitive, 50% effective. My wife is 70% cognitive with an X. My son also has an X and he's a diplomatic guy. So he listens to everything and does what he wants to at the end of the day. So understanding ourselves is, is something which, which I must uh, wholeheartedly thank uh, ARSG because earlier it would end up in a conflict with, with me and my wife basically because I would say something and she would say no. Everything you say, the answer that comes back is with a no. And every time you say something, the cognitive thinker says, I will have the last word. So they have to add something at the end. Right? So, and I would also try to you know, give one thing back and she gives back and I give one thing back. Now, when she says that, I give her a smile. Yeah. Um, I think every married man should learn how to smile. Learning orientation, I am absolutely an uh, abstract sequential learner. Maybe the report pattern and this pattern might not match, but I have made sure that I'm speaking on all the points. Right? That's, that's because I'm sequential. And I'm very comfortable with random learning as well. And, and that's, that's been a big boon for me. And uh, since uh, both uh, thinking levels are fast, that sometimes gives me a lot of impatience. And sometimes um, I would go up to 99% and the last 1%, anyway, I can guess what is the rest of it so I don't have to read it. That's, that sometimes happened. But otherwise, again, being a sequential guy, I have to finish the book from cover to cover. Realistic, I think investigative and enterprise have helped me a lot. And uh, going to the hemispheric uh, dominance, left and right, you will see I'm more leaning towards left 
and if you see my house in my library is completely sequentially organized but when it comes to my wife she has got you name the teaching method in french she has got it but before every class she has to search in a pile of books and papers what she is going to teach today because that's a complete right brainer no second thoughts she is a complete right brainer so is my son and my wife is brought up by a complete left brainer he is he is an air force officer officer in the air force and his my my mother in law is very very immaculate with the way house looks you know like everything has its own place my wife being a right brainer is brought up by a left brainer now she always says looking at the clutter she says i have to clean it up she cleans it up in one hour it's back to normal and so is my son and you should see the fight at home you know he keeps his room very dirty and when my wife starts shouting he'll close the door take everything and stuff them into the cupboard and he'll call his mom and say look my room is tidy so i just tell my wife go and open the cupboard the moment the cupboard is open everything falls out but what she does she she's got a conflict you know a right brainer brought up by a left brainer she wants to keep things tidy but the right brainer thing is leave it here we'll take care of it later that's 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 something that we have understood because of the uh, genetic brain profiling and of course i'm i'm a complete uh, convergent thinker evaluative analytical quality conscious and breaking down things into small pieces uh that's that's how the entire presentation if you see if i read a book the book is again brought broken down into small pieces into a powerpoint presentation that's that's how i remember smartness profile mi profile you can see like it is uh, logic word smart is good people skill i am totally compensated because uh, my wife has got a very good people skill so it's complementing there self smart is good uh, in fact it should be uh, number should be more higher there because i am so fond of uh, dressing up and i have close to about 40 odd suits uh, about 50 55 watches i know i don't know how many number of ties i have the perfumes that i use i'm very 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 particular about what i wear how i look how i go to meet people in fact i am here for a uh, what we call as a online meet but i'm loaded with a lot of perfume because i i like i i need to have that feel good factor for myself before i put it across to people cosmic intelligence is something i think what god has gifted me with and i'm very grateful and uh, very grateful for that part and from the mckinsey model you can see that i'm an introspective thinker again uh i need time to take a decision though being fast sometimes i do take uh, what do you call uh, hasty decisions and then i realize that i have done a mistake but then when i get uh, time to think about it and take decisions they have always worked very well for me and when it comes to this profile obviously i am more on the d side i can also be good on the i side if i choose to but more on the d side and i set a goal come what may i would like to achieve it and that's that's how i have been and i had set my goals to achieve a bmw car i had set my goals to achieve some uh, targets that were set up in the company and i would always be on the achievers list and uh, yes given a choice if 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 i have to and you can see now that in a in a seminar in a meeting in a one to one meeting i can interact with people if i choose to and if i am on a webcam as well i am very comfortable because technology is something which i am very comfortable with and it it doesn't make a difference to me because uh, there are no pictures available all of your videos are off but i can visually imagine all of you sitting and listening to this or seeing me and that's what drives me to use technology Uh, i have been using this technology from almost about 10 years i was in pune and i was conducting a seminar for 2000 people in visakhapatnam online i did it through skype and it was very effective and this is something which has which is very accurate and bang on when it comes to my uh, profiling you can see like i am a very sensitive guy though i don't show it up 
self confidence high so thoughtfulness sometimes gets down self motivation i'm very self driven it's it's you know people say na nenacha adu panniduve but i nenikkano illa first that's that's the self motivation if i decide i can do anything but i have to decide first so whatever i have decided to do i have excelled uh, god's grace i have been able to do well there and uh, because independence being on the high side cooperative has gone down friendliness is something which i have worked on and uh, i think i'm fairly uh, comfortable with that now efficiency is high enthusiasm is high and that's that's to sum it up uh, that that this one report this one chart can uh, totally tell uh, about a person what he is and you can see here like i am on the intp p that is the perceiving side the last thing which you see there one thing which hits me very uh, very very hard on my brain is very casual open ended spontaneous pressure prompted i do things at the last moment and god's grace maybe because of cosmic intelligence somehow it works out well somehow i don't know how it's it's god's grace yeah and then uh, yes as of as on date as on today if i if i am given a choice i would like to be indoors if i am given a choice i would like to be indoors and uh, intuitive side is on the higher side and more on the thinking side absolutely bang on with the, i would say the accuracy of genetic brain profiling is very very high and this is something which which can help a lot of people uh, by uh, by we as counselors can help parents teachers you know do wonders with themselves in their lives not do uh, uh, not live a life of uh, what should i call uh, trial and error method basis living and i think i think that's that's to sum it up genetic brain profiling has been bang on uh, with my uh, report bang on with my uh, kids and my wife and that has given us a very good understanding amongst ourselves so any conflict situation we all look at each other shake our head give a smile and walk away and that's that's the biggest takeaway for me from one of the biggest takeaways for me from uh, genetic brain profiling so my one of my major addiction is to talk and i would like to end it here and uh, i hope it was informative and good enough for you all thank you so much thank you sir arman again for your time and explaining how genetic brain profiling help had helped you to understand about yourself and also your family members and as you very nicely said a particular case is I mean, when there is an uh, argument or conflict or conflict of decision kind of thing at your family, before GBP, what used to happen, and after GBP, you have very nicely explained that you all smile to each other and then move out or walk away, because now you know, as you correctly said, now you know each of you that you are like this. So. there is no meaning or no use of getting into confrontation and uh, too much of discussion and all these things so it helps definitely as you correctly mentioned it helps to bring the harmony bring the peace uh, at home and everybody will have a very nice environment thank you once again thank you mr rahman for your time thank you